The Protocol to the Convention on International Interests in Mobile Equipment on Matters Specific to Space Assets, better known as the Space Protocol to the Cape Town Convention, is an international treaty adopted in Berlin in 2012 which facilitates the use of asset-based secured financing for the space sector. Developed and negotiated under the auspices of the International Institute for the Unification of Private Law, or UNE de Bois, the Space Protocol is part of the Cape Town Convention System, which also includes protocols for the aviation, rail, mining, agriculture, and construction sectors. The Space Protocol allows for the creation, registration, and enforcement of international interests in space assets, which can either take the form of a security agreement, a title reservation agreement, or a leasing agreement. As the space sector continues to grow and more emerging countries and companies from different parts of the world start to get involved, access to credit and availability of finance at reasonable terms will be key in order to allow businesses to develop and space economies to expand. The space protocol allows private investors to lend across borders with certainty and confidence that should anything go wrong, their rights and interests in their space assets will be upheld in a court of law as long as the debtor is based in the contracting state of the protocol. The Cape Town Convention and its aircraft protocol have been described as some of the most commercially beneficial treaties ever adopted. The convention presently has more than 80 contracting states from all parts of the world. The space protocol adapts the provisions of the convention to the specific needs of the space sector. The space protocol scope covers all types of space assets in space or designed to be in space and includes objects such as satellites, transponders, reusable launch vehicles, rovers, space infrastructure, and others. Once a creditor and a debtor enter into a security agreement, a title reservation agreement, or leasing agreement, the creditor can register its interests in the space asset into an international wholly electronic registry. Once registered, this international interest has priority over subsequently registered interests, domestic law interests, as well as unregistered rights and interests in the case that the debtor becomes insolvent. The Space Protocol has specific provisions that cater to the special characteristics of the space market and the assets involved. Thus, it provides for creditors' remedies that take the in-situ nature of space assets into account. For example, by providing for the use of mechanisms such as the transfer of tracking, telemetry, and control information of a space asset, or the assignment of debtor's rights. Additionally, the space protocol also has specific provisions for other space-specific issues, such as physically connected space assets, salvage for insurers, and space assets which serve a public service. Insolvencies of space companies result in the creation of space debris. Not only will the Space Protocol allow for access to space to a larger number of private companies from all parts of the world, it will also provide for sustainable space exploration through providing an efficient mechanism for the in-situ transfer of space assets to new operators. The space sector is no longer the realm of a handful of operators providing a limited number of services. It is now the domain of smaller, leaner, more innovative businesses which make up the new space industry. Studies predict that the size of the global space sector to be as large as 1.1 trillion by 2040, with thousands of assets being sent to space every year. The space protocol is perfectly suited to serve as a tool to facilitate this growth and allow more capital to flow into space businesses of all natures and sizes. Une de Bois and its partners are continuing to promote the space protocol to establish the international infrastructure required for its entry into force. We are also actively engaged with governments and policymakers looking to provide their space industries with an additional channel through which they can finance their space ventures. Please contact the Une de Bois Secretariat for any further inquiries about the Cape Town Convention or its protocols.